Today, I want to replace my dining room light switch with an Insteon keypad dimmer. I'm slowly upgrading the home automation features in my house, and I chose the Insteon ecosystem for its reliability and features. The Insteon keypad dimmer is much more than a normal dimmer switch. It allows this light to be controlled from other keypads in my house, as well as my smartphone, my Apple Watch, motion sensors, open and close sensors, just to name a few. After verifying the power is turned off to this circuit, I remove the old switch to see how it's wired. I identify four wires. The black wire is line, the white is common, the bare one is ground, and the red one is the load that goes to the light. I'm lucky to see that these colors correspond exactly to the wires on the keypad, so my installation is trivial. If I had multiple black wires on the switch, I'd need to figure out which one is always on, that's called the line, and which one goes to the light, known as the load. After the wire nuts are tight, I turn the power back on and give it a test before completing the installation. The top left button controls this light. Press the button once to turn the light on. Press it again to turn it off. Easy enough. Press and hold the button to change the brightness of the light. First it gets dim, then the second time it gets bright, and so on. I can adjust the default brightness of the light so that it always comes on to the desired level. First I set the brightness that I want, and then press the little set button once. From now on, by default, it comes on to that brightness. I can still dim it and make it brighter if I want, but the default level always stays the same. I can also set the ramp rate to make the lights come on and off slowly. I do this by setting the brightness first, because the dimmer the setting, the slower it goes. And then quickly double click the set button. Now the lights come on slowly and go off slowly. The top left button always controls this light, but the other seven buttons can be programmed to control other devices. More on that in future episodes. For more videos and information about Insteon, just go to my website, handydad.tv slash Insteon. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.